Hi everybody. So in this video we're going to be looking at what happens to the voltage of a voltaic cell under non-standard conditions. So in order to do that we need to look first at what the standard conditions are. So standard conditions for any voltaic cell are of course when all of the concentrations of all the solutions are one molar. If this is the case then if we calculate Q, the reaction quotient, for any cell, the concentration of products over the concentration of the reactants is always going to be 1 because all of the concentrations are 1. So to demonstrate this, we're going to look at these two cells. If I have a zinc and copper cell, in order to calculate the reaction quotient for this, it's going to be the concentration of zinc ions to the first power over the concentration of copper 2 ions, also to the first power. And if the concentrations are 1, then the reaction quotient has to be 1. But what if my coefficients aren't all 1s? So if we're going to look at this zinc aluminum cell, Q over here is going to be the concentration of zinc ions raised to the third power, because our coefficient is 3, over the concentration of aluminum ions raised to the second power, because our coefficient in front of aluminum is 2. But if everything, again, has a concentration of 1 molar, then this is just going to be 1 cubed over 1 squared, which is still 1. So again, under standard conditions where all the molarities are 1, Q is always going to be 1. But what if we're under non-standard conditions where the molarities are greater than or less than 1? Well, in order to determine what effect that's going to have on the voltage of the cell, we have to know a couple things first. First of all, K for voltaic cells is always much, much bigger than 1, as you've seen because you've calculated this before. Um, it can be as high as 10 to the 20 something power, all the way up to 10 to the 60 something power. They're very, very large numbers because these are, by definition, spontaneous reactions. Um, and so, under standard conditions, we have a Q equal to 1. And under equilibrium conditions, we have Q equal to K. And at equilibrium, the cell voltage is 0. So what does this mean? Well, if we calculate Q and it's greater than 1, so let's say it ends up being 10 to the 12th right here, then that means we're somewhere in between standard conditions and equilibrium where the cell voltage is zero. So what that means is that we are moving towards equilibrium. We're going from a standard voltage of 1.1 in this case to a voltage of zero, which means that our voltage must be decreasing. So if, in general, if Q is greater than one, then the voltage is decreasing. On the other side, if we calculate Q and it's less than 1, then what that means is that we are moving further away from equilibrium. And if we're moving further away from equilibrium, that means we're moving further away from a voltage of 0, which means that our voltage is increasing. So let's take a look at this sample problem. We have a spontaneous reaction that is driving a voltaic cell, and we're given non-standard solution concentrations, and we need to figure out if this is going to produce more or less voltage than it would under standard conditions. So Q for this reaction is going to be the concentration of chromium-3 ions squared 
over the concentration of dichromate ions. first power times the concentration of hydrogen ions to the 14th power times the concentration of iodide ions to the 6th power. And if we plug in all of those values, chromium is 1 times 10 to the minus fifth molarity dichromate is two molar oops I forgot to square that hydrogen is one molar to the 14th power and iodine is also one molar to the sixth power and if you calculate all of that out, you get 5 times 10 to the minus 11th. Now, that is much, much less than 1. And if Q is less than 1, then what that means is that our voltage is higher than it would be under standard conditions. Because again, we're further away from equilibrium. At equilibrium, the voltage is zero. So the further you get away from equilibrium, the higher the voltage is going to be. Okay, so now we're given a different voltaic cell, uh, which is standard. It has one molar solutions of chromium and lead. And we are asked what would happen if we increase the concentration of chromium. So if we're going to do this, first we have to have a balanced equation to see what's actually happening in the cell. Because the uh, reduction potential for lead is bigger than the reduction potential for chromium, we know that the lead is going to be reduced, which means that the overall reaction here is going to be 2 chromium plus 3 lead 2 ions yields 2 chromium three ions and solid lead. So if that's our overall reaction, then Q is going to be the concentration of chromium in the numerator squared over the concentration of lead two ions cubed and under standard conditions, we'll call it Q standard, this would be 1 because the chromium ion concentration and the lead ion concentration are both 1. But if the numerator increases, if we're increasing the concentration of chromium, then Q is going to be greater than 1. And if Q is greater than 1, then that means we are getting closer to equilibrium, we're getting closer to a voltage of zero, which means that our cell voltage, E cell, is decreasing.